Within past energy transition activities, the heating market has not yet gained the importance it deserves. Especially in rural areas, there are very effective ways to link renewable energy and energy efficiency in the form of small district heating systems that can replace fossil fuels at competitive prices. This is exactly what happens in the Hegau in southern Germany. It is not only a beautiful landscape, but also a special area in terms of the level of ambition and citizen engagement in the introduction of renewable energy. The cooperation between Solar Complex and the Ritter Group demonstrates an outstanding integration of renewable energy and energy efficiency and could serve as a good practice example also for other areas. Benny Müller, CEO and board member for sales and marketing at Solar Complex, explains the background of their activities and how district heating is practiced in Randeg. He also states that district heating using solar thermal energy can be an economically viable concept. We do have a district heating network in Randeck, just like in 16 other municipalities. So far, wood energy has been used in this village in summer as well as in winter. This should be different in the future. We do not want to waste any more wood energy in summer in order to prepare a little bit of warm water. That's why a collector field with 2,400 square meters has been retrofitted here, and you can actually see that quite nicely on the overview map. Here we have the heating center where we are right now. We have the site with 150 connected buildings, and we have the solar collector field with 2,400 square meters at about 120 meter distance, which will, in the future, completely supply this place during summer. The Ritter Company, originally a producer of sweets, is also an established supplier of space and water heating systems based on solar collectors with vacuum tube technology. The technology has proven to be successful and is competitive with conventional energies. However, Moritz Ritter, chairman of the board of the Ritter Group for Environment and Energy Technologies, points to shortcomings in politics and too much focus on electricity in the debate on the energy transition. Behind us we see a collector field, unfortunately still packaged at the moment, but it will get its big stake. It is a collector field consisting of vacuum tubes with the peculiarity that the heating or district water flows directly through it. This is technologically a very interesting advantage, because if I have a stagnation, so say the heat cannot be used, then the water just goes into steam. And when the field can then issue heat requests again, it can continue to run. Otherwise, you often have the problem with solar systems that you have an antifreeze that is unable to return such temperature fluctuations. Yes, in the past we have invested about 4 million euros in the heating network with the central heating system. And now we have to take a good million more to retrofit with both the collector fields and the additional storage tanks. This is a long-term investment. That means that we have to run such a project for at least 20 years in order to refinance it. Also, from an entrepreneurial point of view, you have to have a long-term perspective. For the customers, this means that they will definitely have have a heat price below oil with about 9 cents the kilowatt. Otherwise, they would not do it. The purely ecological advantage is not enough for the people. We also have to be cheaper than fossils. And that is what we are. The economic efficiency is absolutely competitive compared with oil and gas. Facing 50 euros per megawatt hour, even without promotion, I think we are at an interesting point already. With the current subsidy, and depending on field and size, it can cost 20 to 30 euros per megawatt hour. It is thus a very interesting technology, and what should not be underestimated, I have a cost certainty for 20, 25 years. No other fossil energy source offers that. The technology and the necessary professional capacity for many energy transition technologies are available. But citizens and private individuals must also decide to change their habits and adopt new technologies like renewable heating systems. Mayor Klinger explains how they won over the people in Randeg for the project and describes their motives. Were there any objections? 
First of all, it was the pioneering role of the Ottilien Quelle that made this district heating network possible. And then, connecting our buildings to renewable energy was just important for us as a municipality. We build new buildings only as low energy standard. We invest a lot in saving energy, and then it was a logical consequence that we, here as a municipality, also participate with our buildings and thus promote this project among the citizens. One has to differentiate from the number of buildings. That makes about half. But if you look at the amount of heat used in Randeck as a whole, then this is simply because of the bulk purchasers. For the school, the sports hall, but also the Utilien Quelle participates. This makes about two-thirds of the heat that is consumed here. As Mr. Klinger mentioned, sometimes you need pioneers and people with a vision for the future. Clemens Fleischmann, whose company produces mineral water from Randeg, was an important forerunner in Randeg. Mr. Fleischmann explains why the Ottilien Quelle became a user of the district heating system and how he evaluates his decision today. Yes, of course, we have dedicated ourselves to the glass bottle as one of the few companies. And the huge advantage of the glass bottle is that we can refill it 50 times. And in the washing machine, we need the big energy, main energy. And we want to clean with regenerative energy sources as far as possible. Because also with this system, we are interested that future generations can still still promote healthy, natural mineral water here in Randeck. The price was not really crucial for us. With Solar Complex, we put our entire business on an ecological footing and you do not always have to consult the pencil. That's a gut decision, a decision based on sympathy, and it was really clear for us. When we changed, oil was perhaps even advantageous, but in the long term, we do certainly face the advantages of regenerative energy. That's for sure.